The residents of Bigenden in Queensland's North Burnett have had enough and now they're fighting back. Save our town. They're protesting against their cash-strapped council's proposal to cut services, including the opening hours of the library and pool. You can't take the pool, and I've been swimming there for at least 50 years, and I'm still swimming and I'm 82. Jobs will be lost and the town's 800 residents forced to travel more than an hour to access other services. I'm currently a single mum, so by losing our facilities here, if I don't have internet access at home, well, how am I supposed to then lodge my Centrelink paperwork? Who will want to come and live here if there's no pools, there's no libraries? The North Bernard Council is seven and a half million dollars in the red and rates revenue isn't enough to cover the upkeep of one billion in assets. To break even, rates would need to increase across the board and I'm not defining it in any category here, 78%, um, uh, which sort of gives you an indication of where the gap in funding is. The problem is widespread. The state's Auditor General found there are 25 Queensland councils at high risk of financial instability and recommended a review of their funding model. The sustainability of many councils is very much uh, at a tipping point uh, where they simply are no longer viable nor sustainable. The 2008 local council amalgamations is being blamed by many for the problem. Small towns with few ratepayers carrying the load. They can't survive because there's only two or three farmers with thousand acres paying rates. More than a thousand people signed a petition that was tabled in Queensland Parliament this week calling for the financial stability of councils to be made a priority. The state government says it's considering the Auditor-General's recommendations. Johanna Marie, ABC News, Bigenden.